Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a haul. It's a haul. It is a first impression. The, these, I'm not doing reviews on these right now. I am just going to show you what I shop. I used to love to do these on my uh, beauty channel and I love doing it on my wig channel as well. And that way you can get a quick glimpse on the wigs as I take them out as I unbox them, try them on, give you my first impression, really. These are not new styles. These are just styles that have been out there and there was an extra 20% off on clearance at Wig Studio One. And you know, I just can't pass up a, a really good deal that I purchased from some friends, but they are available at Wig Studio One. I do want to take just a quick moment and let you know that John Renault has some new colors that are being released uh, at the time. I'm recording this on Sunday, October 16th, and the new colors will be releasing, I believe it's tomorrow, October 17th. Mine are on the way. They're being provided by Wig Studio One. Eileen, the crazy wig lady, and I will be having a live on our uh, private Facebook group, Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group. If you're not a member of our Facebook group, head on over. It is a private group. You could ask questions. You can post your wigs. You could just look and not ever participate if that's not something that you want to do. But you'll be able to see our lives, which it's just for our group. So I hope you come on over and join us. I'm taking off the tag off this one. This is Storm by Noriko in the color Seashell Blonde R. I'm not sure about this color on me, but you know, it's not about me. It's about showing you a different style and my first impression. Storm has a basic cap and typical of Noriko. There is definitely permatease here. Shake it up, loosen up those fibers. Always, always do this with your wigs when you, after you try it on and you know you're going to keep it because you wanna make sure that you follow the return policy. So you never, you wanna try it on first for size, for color, and for length, and if that works for you, then go ahead, take it off, and shake it up. I like to use a wide tooth comb. I'm not going to be saying this with all the wigs, I'm just doing it with the first one. So I take a wide tooth comb to loosen up that permatease a little bit, loosen up the fibers, and then I'm going to spritz them with some water. And let me know. I'm sorry. Let me know down in the comments what you think of these, if you like them, if this is like, wow, I want to see a little bit more of that wig. I'd love to hear from you. Definitely a poof. I like the style though. I think the style is really cute, but my goodness, yes, this does have quite a bit of permatease. It's kind of like a little bang. I'd probably like this in a brunette. This is Noriko, so they run a little small. I have a 21 and a half inch circumference and I have it pulled out all the way. So if you have anything much bigger than mine, you may not care for it. But I think the style is really cute. Add a little bit of water. This color has, it seems to have a really nice blend of warm and cool. I purchased this one. This is Portrait Mode by Raquel Welch in the color Ice Latte Macchiato. I have three other portrait modes and I love the style, but I've never tried this color. Portrait Mode has a full mono top and it has an extended nape. It has a lace front. Oh, this color. Oh my gosh. You know what this color is giving me the impression of? A little bit, not exactly but it's giving me the impression of brown sugars no not brown sugar sweet cream by british milk tea from beltress that looks without the lavender in it oh this is pretty i think i could wear this color since i have other portrait mode i knew that i had to cinch it in a bit so i did i think that i think portrait mode will fit 
um, up to like a 22 inch without any issues. Of course, depending on your other two measurements. Oh, this is pretty. Oh my gosh, what a gorgeous color. I think I, I think I prefer this color to um, Shaded Biscuit. Shaded Biscuit can be a little bit light for me, but I think I can pull this color off. Lighter than Shaded Cappuccino. I'd probably want to straighten it a little bit. I'm not, I don't like on me. I don't like this curled up in so much. I like it a little bit straighter, but oh my gosh, look at that lace front. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, this color is gorgeous. I love that feathery on the side. This is editor's pick in Iced Mocha. I had editor's pick. I actually had like two. I had two of them. I had the elite and I had the regular, the regular cap. I don't know why I sold it. You know, sometimes we have wigs and, and we think we love them and then we don't. So when I saw it in Ice Mocha, I thought, all right, let me give it another try and see if maybe it was just the wrong time for me. In Raquel Welch, they're described as true to life. We have a full monotop, not very big monotop. We do have permatees at the crown. I'm not sure what that is. The Elite seems to run a little bit smaller because you have that partially hand-tied cap. But with the regular editor's pick, we have a weft cap. See, you have all this permatease right here. I think the color is beautiful. I think I've reviewed this color in the past. I just can't remember. Yeah, that's got a little bit of crimped hair right here. Beautiful lace front, no knotting, on, even though this is a dark color. I really, really like it this time. I bought this one. This is Anatolia from Beltrest. And I bought it because if I was told that I could, that I had to choose one wig and one wig alone that I can wear for, for a month or for the rest of my life, I would be very unhappy. But if I really had to choose one, it would probably be Anatolia. I absolutely love this style. It is so right up my alley. I have, this is now my third one. I like to get it in a few other colors. It's Butterbeer Blonde. I'll tell you what I love so much about Anatolia. I love that it has a center part. I love the very sleek look. I love that it's an it's angled. There's just so much about Beltrest that I love. Their edgy kind of uh, type of styles. Heat friendly fibers don't bother me. I think it's just perfection right out of the box. And I love Butterbeer Blonde because it's not it's not real warm. I love this. Look at that. How cool that is. I think it's so pretty. I know it may not be everybody's cup of tea. It's just my cup of tea. The lace front is done absolutely beautifully. Look at that, how beautiful it stays right out of the box. It's right here. But the back, you see how angled that is? I love this. And shorter in the back. Definitely one of my favorite styles or my, one, my favorite style from Beltress. Let's go now to Ellen Villa. I don't think this is going to look good on me, but again, it's not about me. This is Girl Mono in Light Bernstein Rooted. No permatease that I could feel, or if it has any, it's just minimal, minimal. They just add a little bit on the crown. Actually, I think I like it. Just a, a little water and sprucing this up. I think it's perfect. It's got a nice length, so it won't be rubbing against your shoulders. If you wear a lot of, you know, now for the winter, if you're looking for a shorter style, 
This color is beautiful. It does have some gold in it, but because it had it's blended in with the brunette, well, I am glad that I tried it. Really, really pretty. It has a little bit of crimping cold set going on right here, but again, nothing that a cold wash is not going to, a cold soak is not going to um, take care of. I have been, <laughs> I've been terrified of this style. I think I'm keeping this one. I am so excited about this wig. This is Joy by Envy in the color Cinnamon Raisin. I, when Envy launched those new styles, I so wanted to get it. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to wait and see if it comes up on clearance. And sure enough, there it was. So I got it right away. It's a longer piece. Definitely runs on the larger side of average. I would need to add some um, where my wig grip and tighten it up a little bit more. There is some cold set again right around here. And it's not because it's from clearance. It's because they are, they're boxed and during shipment and they kind of have that cold set. But again, just a cold soak is going to take care of that. Oh my gosh, this would be really pretty. As an updo, it'd be pretty as, you know, just a ponytail. Let, the density does not feel high at all. Permatease, if any, is minimal. Gorgeous, gorgeous style by Envy. What do you think? Here is another Envy. I reviewed Kate in medium brown, but I just love that style. When I saw it on clearance in cinnamon raisin, I thought, oh yes, oh yes, you're coming home with me. Kate seems to run a little bit uh, smaller than, than Joy. The bangs are pretty long, so I'm just pushing it back. You could wear it side swept if you want. If you're used to see, I, I pushed it back pretty far just so I could uh, show you, but I'll be cutting the bangs on this one and using a, a hot air brush because these are regular synthetic fibers. I'll be using a hot air brush just to give it that form. Just gonna push them over to the side and it's absolutely beautiful and cinnamon raisin. I thought it would be. Have a Gabor here, Center of Attention, an SS Hazelnut. I've never tried this style. I don't think I've seen many reviews on it, so it was intriguing. These are regular synthetic fibers. As many of you know, Gabor is by the same manufacturer as Raquel Welch. Um, I've got a feeling this is going to have a lot of hair here. We have a left part, a lace front. I'm not feeling any permatees, but I am feeling a higher density, and it could be because this is a long style. Oh, this isn't a left part. This is a, a center part. I apologize about that. Gabor fits me uh, big. It's on the, yeah, this is like way, way, way much, way much than I care for in the, in the density. Could you see that? Lace front is done beautifully. Absolutely beautiful. Let me add some water. Let me see if I could do something with this. If you like um, a higher density, if you like full and the waves, I think that you would love this one. If you like a very light density, uh, this one may not be for you. I can't remember if I showed this one in my last haul. So I'm going to add it here in case I didn't show it. I'm sorry if I did, I can't remember. This is Mia by Tressalore in the color Sheer Plum. 
I have seen lots of members on the Facebook group post this um, this style Mia, and they love it. It, it re, it's reminding me of uh, Mila by John, a, lo, a longer version of uh, Mila from John Renault. It's also reminding me of um, Radiant Beauty by Gabor. This color is absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I had not tried this color before, sheer plum. If you love curls and you want a little bit longer style, I think that you would love this one. I actually really, really like it. And I think the volume is due to the curls. I don't know what the weight of it is. Really pretty, stays off the face nicely. Nicely done on the lace front. No knotting on this color. Thank you everyone. I appreciate you spending this time with me. I love doing these hauls and bringing you the different styles that I purchase and giving you my first impression. If there are some that you absolutely love, please let me know. If there are some that you say, oh my gosh, no, no way, let me know too. I am not the manufacturer. I am not the brand. I am not going to be offended in any way, shape, or form. We all have our difference of opinion and it's okay. It's perfectly fine that some of us like a style and there are other styles that are just not for us. Perfectly understandable. Don't forget to head on over to the Facebook group and sign up so you don't miss our live on the new John Renault colors. And I will see you next time. <laughs> Bye.